Kwanzaa is an alternative. We do not seek to replace Christmas, but we are giving an alternative for individuals who are more Afrocentric mm -hmm. to highlight virtues and principles of nation building, family, social responsibility. So Kwanzaa will be celebrated from today until the 1st of January. So there are seven days, and each day has a principle. The beginning of Kwanzaa is Umoja, which is unity. So this is where we call the families and the community together, and we celebrate the journey that we have traveled and our accomplishment and the joy of family and community. Kwanzaa's emphasis, because it is grass-rooted, is reflects an altruism. You know, Christmas, peace on earth, goodwill to all men. But the commerce of Christmas almost nullifies the, the virtues. Kwanzaa now we try to say, well, okay, this is collective responsibility. This is creativity. This is faith. This is collective works. Um, all these are virtues within the seven principles that we try to ensure that instead of the commerce, we have true development, we have true family. The engine room is usually with civil society to highlight celebrations like these. It's just as the same of the Back to Africa movement of reparations. Mm. And when it has begun to have fruits, then we find the other parts of society joining in. Mm. But um, we, as the civil society, we are knocking on the relevant doors. And this year, we are gaining more understanding with governmental institutions mm. to provide, help provide the funds to really have it consistently in the minds of the people. Because Kwanzaa reparations, all these things are part of the decolonization process. Mm. And, and that brings me back to Errol Barrow, as Steve Ashe was just saying. When he asks the question, what mirror image do we have of ourselves? So we have to construct a mirror image that will reflect development justice Okay, and so that part, that is what we are bringing in this Kwanzaa feast. Part of this Kwanzaa, we'll be giving out African clothing to the children in the village, in the ivy here. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be giving out food hampers. Food hampers, we give out that for Christmas, but we add the, the African clothing so we could be a little bit more centered as to why we're doing these things. And we hope to continue along that line um, I don't know if you're familiar with African Awareness Month in February. Mm -hmm. It started the same way, just a few spiritual Baptist church and this and this. And now it is in about 95% of the schools. So it's the same thing if we have consistency in terms of assistance, alignments, networking. We hope to, to strike for that trajectory in building the festival.